uh, my opponent, Eddie, suggests that without job security, <coughs> without job security, academics might be inclined to uh, to play it safe uh, rather than investigating areas in which the, they can be more passionate. Um, I found some research. Jessica Castle with the State Teacher Policy Yearbook suggests that states should consider modifying its policy, their policies um, so that districts can use evidence such as student <coughs> learning, student learning and gathering to be subjective and objective for objective measures such as standardized test results and predominant and preponderant criterion of a teacher evaluation. Um, essentially, what is the teacher giving to the students rather than just this evaluation would say if that teacher is playing it safe or not. That's where our reform will come into play. Um, Minneapolis used a similar situation, a uh, similar uh, model for this. Julia Coppage writes, teachers in Minneapolis who achieve tenure talk about how they believe they have accomplished something important. They, they have passed a significant professional milestone and have earned tenure, not simply been granted. Teachers who fail to successfully complete the tenure requirements lose their lose their employment with the district, essentially making sure that these people are doing what they should be in the classroom. Uh, one of the best practices in the country, Jeff Castle writes, that in Florida, uh, it is the, actually the only state that uh, explicitly requires teacher evaluations to be based primarily on evidence of student learning. The state requires evaluations to rely on classroom observation as well as objective measures to student achievement, including state assessment data. Moreover, Florida specifically states that evaluation should be based on this progress of evidence, similar to uh, what was listed for the National uh, Reform Act. Um, in his, in the, my opponent's comments about um, under what basis are teachers underperforming, um, Scott Reeder writes <coughs> in the state state the hidden cost of tenure, why are failing teachers getting <coughs> half and grade? He writes that a uh, study in Illinois schools dist school districts that analyzed 876 districts and followed and followed them in the last decade, less than 6% of Illinois school districts have given tenured teachers an unsatisfactory rating. <coughs> Invest, um, on average, each year only two teachers out of 95,000 tenured teachers or fired for incompetence. That the vast majority of districts do not have teachers that should earn an unsatisfactory rating does not seem to correlate with the knowledge of the most professions that routinely have individuals in them who are not well suited to their job. Nor, does it, nor do these teachers' ratings seem to correlate with school performances, suggesting teachers' evaluations are not, meaningful, uh, not a meaningful measure of teacher effectiveness. In regards to uh, my opponent's comments that tenure does not make uh, does not make it hard to fire a teacher, he suggests that it's actually very easy to fire a teacher because of tenure. Um, Scott Reeder goes on to mention that um, the same statistics that were given earlier that only two teachers were found to be incompetent. That just doesn't seem to match with the, the number of teachers that are actually out of the field. Jeff Castle writes that West Virginia schools found similar results over the course of five years, where 35% of teachers who lost their certificate certification in West Virginia did so because of sexual assault or abuse, 19% were fired for a term such as misconduct, but none of the teachers lost their certification for being ineffective teachers. Um, Professor Ted Yon of the uh, University of Boston writes that for colleges and universities, from a college and university perspective, promotion and tenure uh, represents acts of major commitment and are cost and they're co and costly and unsettling. Nevertheless, these routines are central features of life and their academia and possibilities are considering alternatives to these central routines uh, and several limited insurance contract couple with uh, compensatory increase in the salary. Basically, he's writing that that the uh, tenure faculty um, needs to be changed. <laughs> Let's just go through several hearings. Let's just go through several hearings uh, to be evaluated as suspicion of underperforming. Uh, Pamela Riley writes that research is from the Research Institute of California that between 1990 and 99, only 227 teachers dismissal cases. Um, 
word of the court occurred. And if all of these cases occurred in one year, it would represent one-tenth of the percent of tenured teachers in the state. This number happened over the course of 10 years, and 227 would even listen to whether or not they were incompetent. Um, in regards to having stayed in the districts for too long, uh, too long and that proving that the tenure is, is justified, a faculty member ordinarily receives tenure promotion sometime during his mid to late 30s. Therefore, a tenure decision is essentially a 30-year contract. At present prices, the face value of the contract can run up to run up a substantial sum for salary alone. From the perspective of individuals, these rules represent uh, a form of imminent benefit. Basically, they're, they're given a 30-year contract just for being tenured.